need. And there's, there's a lot of misinformation out there. And um, I've always had uh, a, a good rapport with young people uh, through my coaching of baseball and working with youth uh, throughout my years. And uh, the drug education piece just seemed to fit with me. Um, no particular reason, just, you know, as, as a health educator, there are certain subjects that tend to just uh, be a better fit for, for you, and, and that was my calling. And uh, when, when this idea came up to teach parents and, and, and use this mock bedroom, it just was so unique and so different, and I felt uh, and we felt that uh, it could make a huge impact uh, with parents, and uh, you know, I'm glad to say that that's the case. It's it's been a great success. Commissioner, what did what do you hope to accomplish by being part of bringing programs like like Drugs 101 to a community? Well, through the 222, we decided that we had to educate parents and we had to educate the public. And over the last three years with the 222 program, we've run a number of awareness seminars. We had a gang awareness seminar. We've had uh, some drug previous drug training by our own police officers, and they were actually at the training the other night showing actual real drugs. Um, but we felt uh, that this program, which was new and innovative, would be a, a better way to reach out to the parents and, and let them see, especially the part about the bedroom. I mean, me being a parent of two teenage daughters, you know, I look in the bedroom sometime and just close the door. <laughs> yes, I know uh, how that goes. <laughs> but, you know, as Jim pointed out, there were a lot of indicators there, over 70 indicators in that bedroom that parents would just think were normal household items or other items that their kids get into. It was, it was, it was a good program and, and well worth the, the, the funding that we used from the gang task force to, to bring them in. I wonder if from either of your ends, so we'll start with you first, you, is there any uh, way you can do any tracking about the effects of such uh, educational programs? Uh, is, is there any data available? Is it working? And should people be doing it all over? Well, I think the only data you could get is from our statistics. I mean, our, how many juveniles do we arrest? How many people are we arresting for drug usage or drug sales? Um, and that stuff is tracked through the UCR, Uniform Crime Reports. Um, but you know, I think the educational component, um, there's been DARE, uh, the great program, which is gang mm -hmm. resistance education and training. Uh, those programs have been around for a number, number of years, and I think it's time for a new approach. And I think the Drugs 101 program uh, that we ran the other night is that new approach, and it, it was good. And, and, and if we could, uh, obviously, if we can impact uh, uh, the market for illegal drugs, we can impact the power of gangs and violence Absolutely. in our communities at the same time, because that's where they're getting their money. So. Absolutely. Uh, how about from, from your end, James? Uh, uh, any tracking data, any, I mean, um, of, the, of the impact and the effect of your program? Uh, the fact that schools are bringing us back every year yeah. uh, is, is one sign. Uh, another uh, positive sign in, in our minds is uh, we uh, give the parents evaluations uh, and we ask behavioral intent questions on the evaluation such as, do you plan to uh, be more observant of your teenager after seeing this program? Uh, do you intend to communicate with your teenager more about drugs after seeing this program? And I can say over the past five years that those percentages uh, that are reported to us straight from the parents have been 90% uh, and higher uh, on, on all the evaluations. Uh, so that's that's a, a good sign. A commitment to be uh, improving those communication. Now, unfortunately, there's probably some people watching tonight who haven't been at one of these programs. I wonder if I would just take a couple of minutes. What are some of these indicators and signs, behaviors? Uh, who wants to start, to James? Yeah, uh, uh, quickly, a few things that parents, caregivers, grandparents should watch for. First and foremost, uh, their behavior. Uh, as a parent, you know their, uh, their habits, you know their routines. Uh, if, if something seems out of the ordinary for your child, uh, whether it be grades, whether it be their appearance, whether it be the places and the people they're hanging out with, interests and things that used to be uh, interesting to that child no longer is, um, I would pay attention to that. Uh, we say that uh, transition years are often the tough years for teenagers. 
Uh, and as a parent, you know, going from elementary school to middle school, middle school to high school, uh, divorce in the family, death in the family, break up in relationships, these are transition times for youth and are very tough and sometimes they want to self-medicate, they want to numb their mind, they want to turn to drugs to get through these tough years and tough times. And, um, you know, as they get older, you know, we, we as parents, we want to give them their independence, but it shouldn't be at the expense of their health or safety. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and we really try to communicate to be a hands-on parent. So, um, so the behavior is the real of uh, that primary that's that's where I would start is on. behaviors uh-huh and uh, 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 commissioner as you uh, from your point of view what would you want to say to people uh, about this issue this evening get involved with your children um, and getting involved is not you know buying them the latest gadgets and clothing <laughs> it's, it's spending time with them going to their sporting events and encouraging them to get involved in school activities because that's what they're looking for um, know where your kids are don't fall for the old hey I'm sleeping over at Susie's house tonight without checking up on them you need to mm -hmm. know where your kids are and who they're hanging out with as Jim pointed out mm-hmm Boy, both of you are saying really uh, relationships is fundamental and the key. It's pretty much it what I'm hearing both of you it say. Is. Communicate early and often, and we always encourage parents to take advantage of teachable moments. And there are so many uh, to take advantage of, whether it be an athlete on steroids, whether it be a local, you know, celebrity uh, over DNA on prescription drugs. There's just so many issues out there to start using those moments. Well, thank you, and of course they can contact you to bring uh, Drugs 101 program into uh, their area. And again, congratulations you. in your uh, new position, and thank you for joining us. We'll be here next week, same time.